Greetings, this is Darvain and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6. Where we are on Carlton playing Osiris. And the Macedonian uh, the Macedonians under Alexander are trying to make a break. Interesting to see where they go. go here. Oh, hello. I mean, we're doing quite well because we've got seven cities. Admittedly, most of that was because we've had several wars with Macedonia where we're basically caused by us stealing their settlers. Haven't actually had any wars whatsoever properly fight over towns or anything like that, so yeah. Probably making use of Cyrus's. Excellent surprise war abilities. And of course, being a duel, there's no need to worry about warmonger penalties. Because, quite frankly, there isn't any. Let's see, two, got two. We'll take you and join you up. Uh, let's see what you're doing. Do, 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 do. Just did that. Uh, yeah, you know how to set up. Still plenty of places to settle. Right. So, we want a monument for you. We're not actually building up our army at this point. So... Macedonians founded their religion. We might, we might have to get out. Okay, heading over there. Now we're going to go over. Let's have a look and see where they're heading. Don't really want to lose sight of them though, so we'll stay there. Because depending where it is. Suicide then. Denounced. A strong economy begins with a strong, well educated workforce. Let's change our penalties. So have a look, see what we've got. Conscription. We haven't really got much of an army. To be honest. Let's have a look. Well, we could we could save units. I think that's for archers. So we could save that five gold a turn. But we can strengthen fighting barbarians. Okay, well, that's fine. Production towards wonders. No, that's not what we're doing next. Oh, save our fire. Where are they gone? They never did over there, didn't they? Yep. They can attack cities with boats. With galleys. They just charge in and attack the city. 
this worth doing while we're going political philosophy. Apadana. Plus two end words when you build a wonder. So that might be worth considering. Yeah, you set deal there. Okay, now let that grow because I ain't going to be doing much for a while. So, yeah, how did we get on with you? Stonehenge, it's still you or you. And gardens is still you or you. Mind you, taking up, we've got marsh there. We could lose that free food. I'm not sure though. So I'm going to stick to the monument for now. Stick to the root one. Finally got their second city. Well, I'm not too worried about religion because as soon as they pop a mission anywhere near any mine, I'll just declare a surprise war and boom, it'll be war, endless war. Your new skills in construction will surely help create venues for games and entertainment. Your progress towards games and recreation has advanced considerably. We have trained our first ranged unit, capable of hitting enemies from afar, while out of the range of hand-to-hand -hand combat. The four building blocks of the universe are fire, water, gravel, and vinyl. And vinyl, yep. Okay, we'll bring you down here and have a look. Let's see, let's see the research we got. We have stirrups, castles, celestial navigation, iron working, an aqueduct, own two galleys. Then I could get a second galley, speed that one up. That one's quite likely to happen pretty soon. So that one if I get to it, which is as soon as I build it, I probably will, depending. Especially since it's immortals. Elite class unit with a ranged attack. Can't take cities with them because of the ranged attack though. It's damn annoying. Mm, Alhambra. Why the same defensive bonus and we get a military slot. slot. Ooh, plus two tourism for medieval wars. Interesting. Hang on, no, that's not going to happen because that's six. We haven't even got four yet. I think four is the next one, so we don't want to do that. I'm anywhere near that. I'm not mistaken. Um. Could do you and get the two and now we'll run to bark. I haven't got any of these at all. To be honest, improve two sea resources. To be fair, if I get a builder out and do the two crabs, I'll get that fairly easy. So yeah, let's do that one. We'll see how long it is before our builder's done. Five turns, yeah, we'll get that then. 
There's one, two, bot. We haven't already got any sea resources, which I don't think we have. Go! Yeah, not gonna bother. Okay. Basically, the open borders from the peace agreement has expired, so I can't go in without declaring war. Fair enough. Just wander around the outside then, for now. Two sea resources. Hey guys, what's that? Cultural gold. Yeah, but no. Go. Your fishermen are learning how to guide their travels based on studying the night sky. Your knowledge of celestial navigation has advanced considerably. Sweet. We got here, we can build there's two there, two there, two food up there. We've we got two food there, Let's see what we got here. Watermill's clearly the good option. Could get you the stone and then another crabs. Stone. Mm -hmm. Let's see where we're going for you. Well, there's one up there. Not being a nuisance yet, but it's closest to some go there. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning. Creating districts in our cities can be much more powerful and lucrative than simple improvements like farms and mines. Mm -hmm. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. 
Okay. Now my traders can go by seeing that's so good. I tend to be a little bit safer at sea. So but only a little bit. Shipbuilding. Can I build a second galley? Second galley for a quadrant. Interesting. Uh, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Um, so let's go for some shipbuilding. Stonehenge for my own religion, or and garden. You know what? Let's go Stonehenge. We'll remove the main points. Yes, I haven't really got much choice. Go on, boy. And that is on the basis that. I haven't got much choice on the basis that if I want to counter religion without going to war. Which doesn't really matter, but a long run and more just get <laughs> kind of yeah. Uh, I'm gonna bring her out for some more. I'm gonna bring her out for the last of the fish I think. I mean, as you may have guessed, I'm a bit of a turtle. I tend to turtle 
on these types of games because I just like building up my infrastructure. Opportunity has arrived for a change into a new and more powerful system of government. Let us strengthen our identity and enact more policies to govern our people. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm still doing well around here. Civic, we've well, got games in the creation, so we do that. The government. They've noticed me comment this on this a few times. And basically, I still believe that Ogliarchy should have its ability and bits moved in place of and replaced and swapped with autocracy. It makes sense that you're going to be, if you want the land, if you want the uh, unit, improved unit strength, then it'll be backed up by military by military policies because that's going to be the obviously ongoing military approach. As oligarchy is not only balanced, but oligarchy is supposed to be ruled by the rich, which is a boast to all yields. And a bonus on wonder production is pretty much, yeah, because uh, ruled by the rich and the powerful is pretty much, yeah, okay. We got loads of st we got loads of money. We're gonna spend it on stuff. And uh, so why they haven't been swapped yet, I don't know. I know it's a simple enough mod to do, but. I really don't want to mod it, but as since we're uh, Cyrus and because of supplies, well, we are going to go with the combat strength, which means we're not. Uh, we can get to check to change what we got. Economic. Got to good for income. Doing well. Uh, charismatic leader, I think. I mean, actually, what we've got, we've got none. We can go with great general points. Mm. Or a classic, we can go with another military one. Uh, well, we don't need great profits if we're going to complete Stonehenge. Great scientist is always useful. But me don't tend to play that way. Great generals, yeah. And you get them anyway when you're used when you're building encampments. So I think we're gonna go with this bit. We want extra extra strength when fighting barbarians. Let's make this easier for us. So the policy slots we've done that. Hmm. The patch seems to have um, screwed up justification there. You just have to bear with it. We also got an extra policy because political philosophy gives us our free trade route capacity, which is pretty cool.
Now, I don't tend to do this. I don't see the point of doing it on but you'll notice the ones that have not been boosted have got this little bar which is the boost bar now what many players do is they will research what they want until the boost bar is enough to nearly basically nearly complete the uh, tech so for example it's like okay shipbuilding we'll do it halfway and then you just buy two galleys and it's like so you actually get through quicker I mean which of course you're going to have to do pretty much on the highest difficulty, so I can understand that. For me, I tend to like playing on easier and taking a more narrative approach. So, I won't do that. I mean, I might see if I can get the two guys. But quite frankly, it's not a big deal if I don't, as far as I'm concerned. A lot of that has to do with... Oh, they cleared out that one. Okay, cool. And a lot of that has to do with the extensive bonuses you get on the lower difficulty levels. You get So everything is faster. Get to the end of the timeline quicker. Let's see, let's have a look over here. See how they're getting in here. Mm, let's see. Mm -hmm. I was going to go down to that one, but that's gone. And that one's been cleared too. That one's still there. I am not in any state to try and... I'm not in any fit state to try and attack a city. Although saying that... Beyond hasn't got walls. At the moment. So... It, could be worth trying to seize that one. I could just pound on it. But it'll be a bit difficult. I'm slightly to be defended, but I might as well head over there and see what it got. You know? With such a large standing army, you may want to consider adding mercenary if your army needs to expand further. The progress towards mercenaries has advanced considerably. Okay, go this way then. Stick your alerts. And we'll head you this way. Purchase. Well, I could purchase that galley that would finish that pretty much finish it off instantly. Um, haven't got walls though. Yeah, sure. But then there's a trader. I could purchase the trader. The trade routes. Yeah. Tempting. Mm. Let's purchase the galley, I think. Your Grace, if I may, I think it is time that we begin exploring what is beyond our shores. It may be that our land units would be fit for this opportunity. Okay, let's have a look, see what we got. Da -da -da. Put all our cash on that. You're going to build ancient walls. Construction a squadron of galleys has taught you much about building larger ships. Your research in shipbuilding is now complete. So, we built two harbors for cartography, but yeah, let's go for some iron work, I think. 
Well, I think that's going to be the next one for us. My liege, we have an envoy at our disposal. We can use the envoy to gain favor with the city-state. Becoming friendly with a city-state neighbor can be greatly beneficial to our civilization. Okay, well, going to save it there. This has been Darvain doing Let's Play Civilization 6. If you like what you're seeing here, be sure to like, subscribe, share and comment. And until next time, goodbye.